Hi everyone, welcome back to Electronics Geek. I am Ajay. So again, we have a two amazing opportunities that is coming from IBM and the Snopsys. So we will be seeing each and everything in detail. So bilkul bhi miss nahi karna apne video ko last tak zarur dekhna to understand how you can apply for this application form. So let's begin with today's job opportunities. The first one that is coming from is my IBM. So they are hiring for the hardware engineer and they are hiring for the multiple location that is Bangalore, Pune and Hyderabad. So this salary here you can expect in between 5 to 10 LPA and it will vary depending upon your skills and experience. And let's see who can apply for this particular application. So if you are from BEP Tech in electrical, electronics and computer science, then you guys can easily apply for this application. And here the skills requirement is you should have a good understanding of digital logic design, computer architecture, disk view architecture or other processor pipeline knowledge. VLSR design flow. Okay, so VLSR design flow is very important if you want to get into the hardware field. So if you are looking for a career, particularly in the hardware field or the VLSI field, then you should understand the VLSI design flow very well. So if you are not aware of the VLSI design flow, so you can watch this particular video. So I have explained everything the, about the design flow from front end to the back end. So please do watch it. And, and if you want more such type of videos, then do let me know in the comment section. Yes, we need such type of more videos so that I can create more and more such type of videos, more informative videos for you guys so that you guys can understand very well about the VLSI design flow or the VLSI or the semiconductor things. Okay so let's move on to our updates and apart from this here you also need the good understanding of the circuit analog logical design and the memory technology okay so these are the basic things which everyone should know and apart from this like good programming knowledge like C, C++ is the basic one if you understand these things then it is very good for you other than that the other scripting languages like Perl and Python so these are highly desirable in this particular uh, domain then you should know these things very well as well as you should also mention these things in your resume so that the chance of your resume to get shortage will be higher okay so these are the basics in the first one is like you should understand the VLSI design flow you should have the knowledge of disk v you should have the knowledge of these programming languages like c c plus plus and verilog and all and the last one is the scripting language that is Perl and the python so these are the basic key skills requirement and you should also mention this thing in your resume so how you can apply for this application the link will be in the description as well as in the comment section from there you guys can easily apply so once you click on the link given in the description you will be directed to the official page of the ibm okay here you need to just click on apply now okay so the application form will appear so you, if you want this you can fill this application form or you can directly click on no thanks and continue to apply so basically that form is the uh, notification form like if you want to get a notification about the ibm jobs then you guys can fill out that application form and after that you guys can continue with this process so if you don't want that you, you just click on the you no know, skip and just you will be directed to this particular page and here what you will be doing is the scroll down here you will be getting apply to the job okay now here you will get some options so you can choose any of the following options the first one is like sign in with linkedin sign in with the facebook sign in with the twitter okay so you can choose any of the following option and you can directly log in and after this just upload your resume fill out your basic details and at the end just review it whether all the information provided by you is correct or not it's very important to understand like whenever you fill out your application form always recheck it before submitting your application form because sometimes it happens like there may be a spelling mistakes in our names in address or something like that okay so due to that what happens is like our application get rejected so make sure you should always recheck before submitting the application form okay so once you're done with that just click on submit application form and your application is done so this is how you can fill out this application form now let's move on to next opportunity that is coming from the Snopsys. so Snopsys is hiring for the analog design engineer this is also for the vlsi engineers so here the job location is going to be bangalore and here the salary you can expect in between like 10 to 15 lpa and it may vary depending on your skills and experience okay so let's see who can apply for this application so if you have done be B tech or MEM tech and electrical or electronics then you guys can easily apply for this application and apart from this you should also have the good knowledge of the CMOS this is the analog design engineer so it means uh, you should have the knowledge of CMOS it's very very important in this particular uh, domain and other than that device physics technology effects so these are the basic things which you should understand uh, before getting into this particular industry and it will be plus for you if you have the knowledge of the automation and the scripting languages like uh, python pearl and all okay okay and apart from this if you have the knowledge of these ips then it will be very good for you as well like i2c i3c sm bus jtag high performance 
LVDCS and and crystal oscillators. If you have the knowledge of these domain, then it will be plus for you. And do not forget to mention these things in your resume as well if you know these things, so that the chance of your resume to get shortlisted will be higher. Okay, and. Uh, how you can apply for this application so the link will be in the description as well as in the comment section from there you guys can easily apply so once you click on the link you will be directed to the official page now here just click on apply okay so first you need to sign in or you directly log in if you have already registered before okay so you just need to click on login and fill out your username and password and just uh, fill out the application form it's very simple you just need to upload your resume and fill out your details like address and all your name and all okay and at last uh, you have to review whether all the information provided by you is correct or not and at last just click on submit application application and your application is done okay so the application will get successfully submitted this allow what you can do is uh, you can also reach out to the candidate who are currently working in this particular company like synopsis and all and you can ask for the reference as well because when you fill out the application form there will be a reference section so in that reference section you can put out their name or the their id uh, number that can help you to select more easily rather than like just uploading a resume and all okay so try to reach out to the candidates who are currently working in these topsies as well and ask for the reference okay so some of may not reply you but maybe uh, if you try with like 5 to 10 people or 10 to 20 people maybe one people can reply and can give you a reference so it will be more easier for you to get shortlist in this particular application form okay so this is how you can apply for this application form and if you need any help or anything in your mind or if, or if you had any feedback do let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then take kisses and keep applying for the job all the best bye bye